The hosses we planted this year in this shady little spot have done pretty good since they started out. Uh, that one in there is a little bit weaker. And you can see by the edges uh, a little dry on that one. They got a little dry one day. One thing about a raised bed, this you have to water them more because the soil goes down to where the normal soil level is and they tend to dry out quicker. Marigolds have been here blooming all year. We quit deadheading them because it's just too much to do. And then getting them watered, going three days without watering sometimes hurts them a little bit. All the iris bulbs, we're just leaving them there as long as they got green foliage, the bulbs getting bigger in that pot. And we'll pull those out and dry them off and store them for next year. And the mums have uh, flowered uh, most of the summer. And you can see the, there's still plenty of flowers on them. And it's typical marigolds that uh, are spent. They're all the volunteer seeds that came up. Hydrangeas, there's too much sun here. We really need to move them to a shadier place because they're absolutely gorgeous. See more volunteers. And that's a sorry looking pot. It looked better when it had flowers on it. But uh, we'll let the marigolds go until it's, uh, they die back and we'll pull them out and uh, wait till next year. We did get a new cane on that rose, so we'll probably have it for another year. My grandson's little, uh, I think it's a blue spruce, but uh, it's coming along slowly. And this pot over here doesn't get quite as much hard sun, but uh, it also doesn't dry out as much. So its foliage is a lot darker and greener and less brown from dead leaves. And this one's almost spent, but as long as you got foliage, the bulb is still growing. And we didn't get another cane break. This is one of these old tree roses that's been here for 20 some years and it's been on its last legs. I've been hitting it with a rose tone uh, three times during the summer. Just trying to keep them alive. You can tell these peonies here don't like it. Uh, and they do, did, the drought did hurt them. And the crepe myrtles are still blooming. And now I'll go show you what's going on across the street by the cottage. Well, the hydrangeas have put out some uh, new leaves. Uh, they're pretty healthy looking. You can tell the difference between last, the early leaves of this year. They're deciduous, so they will lose all their leaves and start over. It's called ever blooming. It bloomed pretty good, but it's not like it blooms all the time. There's another little flower coming up. This one gets a little more sun. That's why it's got a couple of flowers on it. This one doesn't get as much sun, so it's not as many flowers on it. But it does have a lot of nice leaves that are fresh and healthy looking. Eric Lomanis looks uh, worse for the wear from the temperature and the drought. And another thing I didn't have time to do is I didn't cut it back last year. That's why it didn't bloom that well this year. Uh, they are different clematises and you can't cut them all back the same and you have to make sure you cut the type you have back properly. But when I cut this one back uh, a couple years ago, it really flourished from being cut back and I just, one of those things you just forget. Nice, quiet, peaceful day on the river. Very few people down here. Everybody's back to work people kids back in school water lays down a lot in October like this in a few more weeks it won't stay like this but uh, most of yesterday it was like this and here's the marigolds we planted uh, on a video several uh, months ago and they've almost reached the top and that's a two-foot basket that I made to keep the squirrels from digging it out and this one's about the same and you can see we haven't been deadheading it, so it's not flowering as much. And they were volunteers from the orange ones that we had last year that just fell in that pot and came up. This little hosta bed, we weeded it out twice this year. And you can see where it comes back. This Virginia creeper is just horrible. And I dug down in there five and six inches and got as much of the root out as I could. It still came back. And you can tell that uh, it gets a little more sun here than the hosta would want because the sun comes up directly over there. So until uh, probably 
one o'clock this bed would have sun on it these are three we put in here to uh, fill in this hole and most all of them look a little worse for wear it was a tough year on them they're pretty hardy but uh, they don't like it at 105 degrees I can tell you no rain here's a clematis that's been dead for two years and we just haven't cut it back because it's inside and in the rick rack you can see where we tied it up years ago with nylon strips of nylon hose and that stuff's still holding see how dry rotted it's gotten but anyway I hadn't pulled it out and it does appear to me that this is not totally dead because uh, it does have some growth on it so we'll wait and see what it does next year if the growth comes out we'll get it started again and this one over here has been on its last legs and we thought it had died and you can see that uh, it actually has a little tiny flower it's odd for it to be doing this in September but you can see how much it was through the rick rack and it's a mess to get it off of there and it takes a while and everything tied up with these holes which over time these old hoses they do rot so we'll see what that one does and we'll cut it back next spring before it flushes and uh, see what happens and this has to be it on the side of the cottage uh, you can tell by the leaves it's gotten dry but you can tell on the yellow leaves that it's just getting to the end of the season on it and they do die back naturally flush to the ground that's why I love them we've got them at our house we have a lot of oak leaves and hickory leaves and I can get the leaves up without disturbing these because they die back to the ground but you can see that uh, the plants are getting old, the leaves are starting to turn yellow. There's a little brown edges from uh, lack of water from time to time. We'll probably stick a few more in here next year to make it fuller. It's still nice looking. Better than a bare wall.